I'm sitting up here realizing that as much as anything, um, perhaps these three people represent an integration for me of a lot of learning and of really a whole philosophy about life and about what it means to exist in the universe. The question, question I would like to ask uh, Don and Ilana is from what they know of the work of Dr. Tomatis, I'd like for them to share their own um, their own truths that are very, very much compatible, very along with the same work that he is doing. And in fact, I know that you're sitting here this week and you're getting little ahas because you shared that you are doing that as, as Dr. Tomatis is speaking. And I would also like for Dr. Tomatis to, to talk about his own, in his own philosophy about uh, working with, with other people and finding other people taking off from his work and, and finding that uh, it is something that helps to expand you know, what, is, what is happening about listening, about tuning into the cosmos, about opening up with, with each other and, and how we listen indeed with our whole self. I think all of you address this. Okay. Starting in 1970 through 77, I was teaching at a French-Canadian school in Tokyo, and I had students from 60 countries. And being a music and uh, humanities philosophy teacher and choir director, all in one school with embassy students, I had a unique opportunity where we had English as a second language, third language, and every accent and dialect <coughs> of music and speech and movement were, had come together in a very unique uh, neurological crock pot. <coughs> where there was really, the early students uh, really did not speak English and simultaneously we would have a Russian student who would be uh, in the 11th grade who never had English and by the end of the year was first in the class and every exception was there. And I had the unique fate as a music teacher to suddenly become the consultant in English. Why is it that in music class and after music class their ears were better? Why was it in certain kinds of singing and toning, rhythmic activities, motor activities, movement? And in those years, in the 70s, I was using Orff Schulberg, a little bit of Laban, <clears throat> my own improvised manner of Kodai, and a lot of classical training in France. When I became director of 10 thousand children's choirs as educational director, I realized that uh, musicians really had the answers, but we didn't know what the questions were. <laughs> <laughs> and that as musicians, we were insulted over and over and over by uh, trying to do things that we were not equipped to do. I became a musician because I was in love with music, <clears throat> and I wanted to live a life in music. I didn't want to teach reading or learning disabilities or <clears throat> work with psychotherapy. I didn't even know those words. And suddenly I just came to a place where I knew that if music, music, the music teacher and the musician held so many tools that were allowed, if there was a recognition by the teacher to use them in a certain way, in a certain complementary way, in an empowering way for that student, not in a performance or entertainment way, but in a real empowering of I own sound and I own rhythm, I own my voice, I own attentiveness through the listening and the skills and the joy that music must always provide. Now, I had lost my joy in music and uh, in another time I'll speak of that. But what did happen in a remarkable way is through the research of Dr. Tomatis have been able to see how the brain, how the language, how the ability to learn foreign language and uh, I mean next month I'm with Dr. Lozanov for a week 
in Seattle and doing lectures on accelerated learning with music and very important language studies also. But it was a consistent, it has been a perpetual eight years of aha, 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 putting these things together that where not only musicians, but those of us who have an ability to enjoy rhythm and enjoy music can learn the order can learn the optimal ways to perfect that ear, not only through music, but through the method and through what is emerging in this country in neurological studies and physical studies. I mean, there are so many things that are happening and um, that here for me is very much the cream of many years of very great contemplative thought, doing the scientific work, having the musicality, and that it does integrate. and. For many of us, as musicians, we've not had the opportunity to be with a teacher or mentor who has had the scientific ability to really language the systems of what the ear means. So um, this work is crucial for me in the survival of music in the schools and the new roles that are not going to happen in five years, but in the next three or four generations of being able to integrate and have high quality performance of music, and at the same time realize that we were reading, we were writing, we we're communicating, we we're listening better, and that the music of the spheres are of the ears. And the whole sense of developing, teaching people how to listen with their hands feels very much in harmony with the real listening of the ear and they're both the same. No one part of the body, mind, emotions and spirit can be dealt with without affecting everything else. So here is an entry point that is so pre-verbal early and the vibration of this entry point really changes the psyche of a person. So this listening hand, the cellular memory, uh, has helped me uh, support uh, another quantum leap in being more brave. And after 30 years of doing this, to come out again and uh, really understand the importance of bringing in the Tomatis' work with us as we work with emotionally uh, not just, well, most of the people I work with outside of a lot of MS people, cancer people, are your usual neurotics, like all of us sitting in the room. Uh, <laughs> and, it, you know, with a little bit more here and there, we're all the variations of the extreme. We've all got everything. There's just some people stuck in the extreme. Um, and working with the listening hand uh, and now with the listening ear, which I really believe is the same uh, concept. Um, the chakras that you brought up the other day is also another very important element and my belief in the chakras is that the energy that travels through our body is a problem when it gets stuck. Not that survival is wrong or uh, the emotional, the power, or we have to leave all this down below our feet to the earth and just live up here, but that the ability to go into those various places is very important. I agree totally with Don and with Ilana too. Uh, all his music in the world and uh, all the cells are dancing. The chromosomic system is a dance of the, the chromosome to, 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 to reproduce the thing. That we do, perhaps uh, to have the chance to know more the pathway of the neurologic system and that we're doing is the same that you do yourself, but directly with the system nervous nerve central. Because you remember the cochlea is a macula of the, all the, the, the tegments. This is very important. And all the all zones are not so sensitive as the other one. This is the most important on the right side. And here too. You remember that before the sacred man touched here and here with the cross. Because they are the sensitive part the more sensitive parts of the cutting system. Uh, the back is more obscure because you have no sensitive easily. For this reason, you put a lot of things 
behind and you have the possibility after to, to understand because it is without connection if you touch your health immediate cases. I agree totally that you, for, with your work and uh, that we are doing is the same but perhaps with some uh, facility because first when you work for an hour with someone you, is, you are dependent of this yourself. Now we have the possibility to touch the same level with one apparatus for 10 each hour, with 10 person an hour. If you do the job for all the Amer in America, the same work you're doing now, needs to have approximately the half part of the state treating the other because they are all in, it needs to, to, to be held. The champ for boys, the same thing. If you they are going in the field of speech therapy, if you help each boy alone, needs to have a million and million of uh, speech therapists to help all the boys in the world. Now, with an apparatus, we have the chance to help in 15 days, up to approximately, with one apparatus, 10 boys. And the half is finished. It did it, it, it improve. Now, that we're doing, I think it is a sort of first pedagogy, not first by the importance, but in the time. If you introduce immediately the, the people in the listening things after they are free. Now, if someone is resisting after I send to you, if all uh, for the same thing for the, the, the kidney or the, 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 the men working with the bone of the skull, to, well, if they are liberate with the sound, it's finished. You take the another one. Someone are blocked needs to have more things, and you send directly. In France, you have the same thing. Now, much psychoanalyst have apparatus too. They start itself, and if it's finished, it's finished. If needs some psychotherapy, they follow after. And in Paris, you send also the same thing. It's rare, because the, we are, the chant liberated a lot of people, but if it is too deep, and for some mentalities need some help, now, also in France, for example, are, you are more difficult, perhaps with the psychoanalytic system, a lot of people are lost totally. Yes. Because they are speaking about the, the defect, the defect, the defect, and the, all the system levels is poorly after. Depend of the, the psychotherapist, sure. But uh, before, without the apparatus or so sophisticated that we have now, we have, it, it is impossible for us to save this person. Now we have the chance, after 20 years of psychoanalysis, you, you, the, the, the psychoanalyst sent to us to liberate, to clean, and perhaps to go further with, with themselves. I think this is a new thing, in fact. Uh, for in the, the, the field of dawn, the same thing. With sound, with a mantra, in fact. You liberate a lot of things. We liberate all the chakra. You liberate them, you say, the good sound is mantra. It, it, if you are speaking in English or in French, or the sound itself is mantra. Mantra means a sacred sound. I think it's false. Means to give energy in the brain to reach the point of the sacred things. It's totally different. To 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 to, uh, to have the chance to to reach God needs to have a great energy. To pray needs to have a great energy. And uh, it's difficult to to say. One prayer, you say in the prayer, without thinking about other things. And you start, you know, the, I think it is Francois de, 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 Francois de Cise, the Saint Francois de Cise, uh, is with the ass, you say ass. The, <coughs> le, 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 donkey. Donkey. And Savik uh, yes. And uh, he met a man, and the uh, man, he said, what, what you're doing? I pray. Said, Off. It's very, so easy to pray. Yes, you sh you're sure. I think it's difficult. No, no, you are. You have the possibility to do so. Yes. Perhaps just try to do with me. And if you pray without thinking about other things, I give my, my animal. Good. And she start. Father, and so on, so on. And stop. Then if you give me your animal, you give also the la selle, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> the, yes, <laughs> it's cut immediately. 
sure, always you are attracted by other things. It needs to have a great, great energy to think on the abstract fields. And now, I think with neurologically we have some keys to understand that the Tibetan do, does do uh, uh, before that all the monks do at the, the same time. We have the chance now to reveal this and perhaps to have some sort of short way to do quickly. Don is a researcher, and he said it's interesting for me to discover all things by myself. He's right. But he needs to think a lot of people are suffering for the moment. He needs to go quick. And you take, if you are involved to have a good hearing and good listening, after your job is facilitated. A lot of time. Now you, you have with you thousand thousand people, after perhaps much, much more. Ne needs. And to instruct the other to give also the same job. It, it, your, your life uh, takes a sense if you push the other to do the same thing like you. Okay, thank you. <coughs> In the last ten years, um, since I heard of your work through a very important tape, Chant Healing Power of Voice and Ear, which um, I'm happy to say over the last 10 years, I've distributed over 4,000 of these uh, tapes. Um, I've realized that the remembrance of some quality of this work has come to many people. It came to me just very simply and quickly. <clears throat> Three years ago, um, there was, your center was just getting started. There were really no centers in the United States. There was a research center in Cleveland, but um, it has been a tremendous challenge to become so excited about what one sees in the depth of this work and not having uh, an easy facility for teachers and therapists to get a taste that is uh, authentic and uh, as all of you realize <clears throat> uh, every question that is answered creates a hundred new questions and uh, and this goes logarithmically by as your ear opens <clears throat> I hope we don't have another hundred lives to fulfill all the questions that are coming. But uh, something that's been very important for me and is to bring others into postures of listening for this new possibility in sound. Each and every one of you has a thousand resources. And to entertain a thought, um, they are threatening to our reptilian brain, our left brain, and our poor limbic system doesn't know what to do about it in the in the midst of new ideas so an important part of the role is for me has been how do I invite my colleagues to listen and not say too much or too little and to represent this uh, very important work with an authenticity uh, coupled with my uh, I'm a manic jubilant and, and, and over excited about uh, the joyous aspects of this. So uh, the real dedication here is uh, to say how do we invite others to listen that is not threatening without giving too much uh, either be, you know, and, and each of us has to do that in a tremendous sense of our own discrimination of what is appropriate, real, uh, really appropriate and not just over do it. Um, this week is very important for me in a lot of ways because tomorrow morning is the birth of my book on education with Chris Brewer who will be here next week called Rhythms of Learning. Billy has written the full appendix on the Tomatis method for general education and the book itself talks about Dr. Lozanoff and your method, D. Coulter's remarkable work on the brain and in a way how Billy and I came together by literally years of going around the country, Billy is the only person who has been in my milieu who would call me and say, well, 
what's interesting, and I would tell her, and within six months, she was there at that center. She's been to a hundred centers seeing these different operations of great schools. <laughs> well, it's, it's amazing. We are here as resonant symphonies. <laughs> and and, as, and <clears throat> uh, some of the overtones in some of these songs and things are appropriate for others to remember. And I, I feel that this week and next week and this time is really critical in really respecting. Uh, it was so important for me yesterday to hear this history and see decade by decade your struggle. I'm just reading your uh, biography for the third time in the third different translation that will be out this year. And every time I read it, I really honor the struggle and the pain of your early life and the tremendous truth on um, the irregularities <laughs> of non-listening. <laughs> I'm reading the book and it just says, well, I'm so totally inadequate in a certain environment. And uh, the openness and the availability and the exemplary sense of loving in my life music so much that I do to have an opportunity to live in the joy of it and see it be a healer in the chanting, in the song. The, the real listening is listening to the body, listening in the body, listening to the intellect. And if anything is holistic, it is that feeling of joy, that integration as a human body. The left brain homework that we've got to learn these terms with a certain sense of integrity that we can speak to our colleagues and not be defensive about feeling, thinking, being, and allowing this full body. This is the waveform. And there's a still point in the middle of it. And there is this active embrace that has thousands of overtones or sine waves or whatever. But, but we really are in an appropriate place and the society is noticing that these fields are breaking down and the new paradigms will demand every bit of intellectual, spiritual, and emotional integrity. And you're sitting next to the person who has that answer. Yes, we are living in the bath of sonic bath, in fact. All is sound. And we are react. And the first and the greatest instrument for the music is a human body. When you have a we play with violin or cello or the thing, it is a sort of prolongation of something add at your body. If you have not the good structure of the body, you play very badly. More the sound, I am sure, with the sound we have the possibility to sculpture our own body. With sound we are we play directly and you model your totally your body and if you in the same monastery, all the monks have the same posture, the same head, the same attitude, because the sound tape and then and play with them always, always, always. It's very important. <coughs> Some music is a universal, sure, but several music are specific, like folkloric music, and the folkloric music, like the also the the song for children songs, are a pre-verbal system. The folkloric thing after is verbal of each language. And more, someone is essentially universal. The most universal we, we met for the psyche, the, for the psychic or so, is Mozart. Perhaps why Mozart? Mozart has a chance to, to is in the fantastic room with a very happy mother. Very important. The transmission with the mother and the boy was wonderful. It is in verse with Beethoven. The mother of Beethoven was psychotic. The father of Beethoven was alcoholic and also a madman. Mozart, when he was born, is very, very uh, drawn in music by his father. And uh, he started, fortunately for us, to write itself when he was third. The first symphony of four and a half. It's very important because he conditioned itself, his own system nervous, to play directly. He played with his body, and he played directly, and he, he 
realized to the training of own system nervous and the own neurovegetative system and it's for the reason he blocked all the system like a young boy and he art is baiting at 120 of his life. It's for the reason sure is living strongly in 36 years his life is finished because he bit at the double tone in fact. Uh, this explains to why it is uh, without fault in harmony, all is perfect, and always perhaps enjoy, all is in major, much, much, much more meaner. Mm -hmm. And more, uh, if you listen uh, in the beginning, while the hand, mother is the same, always is young. The rhythms are always young. To I have a tapes of Mozart. Unfortunately, you have not a possibility to use all the tapes because when if you filter the music, you use a high range. And the high range needs to have uh, some violin or cello, no more. If you take piano, give a uh, transitor, uh, tra tra transitoire, what's the name? Transitor, abrupt, abrupt sound. And it's impossible to, to, to listen to this. And unfortunately for us, Mozart wrote a few piece of violin, not sufficiently for, for, for a long training. And for this you cut uh, each piece of violin, you have someone making this in Paris, in the laboratory, take all the piece of Mozart and cut, 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 and, and add after. Something interesting always is Mozart, it's not Popuri. There's always the same Mozart. Hyde? Hyde is not the same. Uh, I'm at the end of his life, and because he's working hardly, he go very close of the harmony, the perfect harmony. And when I analyze Ein, the rhythm of Ein inside, the rhythm inside, the harmony, it is a rhythm inside, it is a sympathetic system. Mm -hmm. Sympathetic means harmony, harmony with the universe. And the beats of Ein is four milliseconds. And the, the four, four, six, four minutes ago, and the uh, uh, Mozart is five, always five. And when I met for the first time, when he was all, he met for the first time Mozart, say now, I met the harmony. Mozart is not musician, he's a music. It's totally different. For this reason, it is universal. And we have Santa in South Africa, we have uh, another sky, we have always in Mozart accepted the most uh, easily. It's a universal. And more, when you are, when we listen to Mozart, it gives so great energy that you are, you, you feel that you are very intelligent. It's, not, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> and uh, you have the impression to write yourself, to play yourself the music. You have the impression to, to compose yourself. With the other, we, we follow, and uh, it is another level. The wisdom levels will have more and more availability to the wise guys and gals in us. So thank you, Dr. Tomas, for coming to America and to our uh, over-jubilant enthusiasm and for Billy taking on uh, the awesome father figure <laughs> of <coughs> organizing all of the all of the things because it is it is it is a joy and it is a, a, a cross also. I just want to say one thing. I remembered when Dr. Tomata said about uh, Mozart's music makes you feel intelligent. There was a little girl, a nine-year-old girl, and I, I have comments by her mother actually over there that uh, about the fourth or fifth day of the program, she told her mother, she says, you know, I think I'm really intelligent. <laughs> now I understand why. <laughs> and I'm real clear that this, this work is creating intelligence, it's creating connection, it's creating wisdom, and that's really what we're all here to do. So thank you very much. <laughs>